Hi guys, welcome to another Shopify related tutorial video. Now it is really important video for all of the Shopify dropshipping stores and all of the stores which are wasting a lot of time on doing repetitive tasks. Let me give you an example. You have an average order value of $500 or $1000 and you want to notify your customer success team by adding a tag to the customer as VIP if someone orders more than $1500. And you are doing that repetitively all of the time. What if you could automate all that kind of repetitive tasks super easily? I'm going to show you an app which will automate all of that kind of stuff. And there are more than 100 use cases where you can send customer notification. And uh, based on order fulfillment, based on the country of the shipping. There are a lot of use cases which I'm going to show you guys in this video which you can automate and save a lot of time. And the app which you can use to do that is called Order Automator. App meets highest standards for performance design and integration by Shopify. It has built for Shopify badge, so it's really high quality. And you can see all of the tag orders and customers to organize and filter. Meaning if product vendor is equal to whatever the name of your vendor, it's going to add the tag automatically. So that's the one use case. If shipping region is equal to EU, meaning if someone has ordered from the EU region, you want to do add a tag EU, but if you are doing all of that kind of tagging manually, it's going to take a lot of time and you might be wasting a lot of time. So it's really important to save time so you can focus more on marketing and sales and your product quality rather than managing the dashboard and adding the tags manually so your customer success team can handle off the stuff, right? And this app is really useful for that type of task. So this is one of the example which I show you guys. And here we have the option to create rules with multiple conditions. So if product collection is equal to cool t-shirts or if product tag contains t-shirt, you can simply add a specific tag to that customer, right? Here we have the optional notifications for your tag rules. So if a tag is equal to whatever tag you want to add in, it's going to send an email notification to your vendor, which can speed up your fulfillment process if you are doing and emailing your vendors manually whenever a new order comes in. So all of these automations will really help you save a lot of time so you can focus more on sales, marketing and the product quality rather than managing this repetitive task on the Shopify dashboard. So guys, now let me show you how easy it is to create your own role based on whatever condition you want to add in the tag automatically if that condition is fulfilled. I'm going to go to the app. I already have this app called. You can find the link in the description and install the app. So that is the dashboard of the app where in the what's new section, you will find what are the features uh, which are newly released, right? And uh, you also have this option here where if you add in the order number, it's going to get the logs. But let me first show you how to add in the condition and create new tags or add tag based on the certain conditions. So here we have auto tag notifications page. I'm going to click on that. You guys, in this page, we have these three tabs. One is tag orders, which is for adding tags based on a new order. This is for tagging customers and this is notification settings. Let me first go over tag orders. Now you can read instructions here or you can watch this video. It's up to you. So these are the rules which will basically add tag to orders. And this is the first rule. These are all of the example rules which I have set up for you guys in order to show you how it's going to work. You might not see it if you have freshly installed the app, but it's just to show you how it's basically going to function. So here we have if discount code condition. So if discount code is equal to this code, it is going to add this tag automatically, right? And these are some other condition. If product title is equal to this, it is going to add this tag to that order. Now, let me show you how you can create your own conditions. So scroll down here. You have an option to create new tag rule, meaning you can create your own rule. So here we can uh, select anything. We have if product, if order, if shipping, if customer, meaning if a product, if there is a product and we want to select it based on these conditions, we can add a new rule. Here we have vendor, variant title, type, title, all of these options here. So let's say if product price is equal to 
let's say thousand dollar or two thousand dollars it is going to add big order tag to that order if product price is equal to two thousand meaning there is a product on your store which is more than two thousand if someone orders that it is going to add big order tag to that order right and if i click on activate tag rule you can see it has created this tag rule here if product price is equal to 2000 or you can also set up based on greater than condition like we have it here if product price is greater than 2000 in this condition we have tag vip in this condition we have tag big order so this one is for equal to 2000 this one is for more than 2000 so you can add these condition based on whatever tasks you want to automate which you might be doing manually you can do that automatically and if i click on this pencil icon here here i have these rules so you can add more conditions like or or you can simply add and condition so if you want both of these conditions to be true it is going to add the tag big order here we have an option to add nodes here we have the option to duplicate this rule, update the rule if you changed something on that or if you want to delete that, right? There's a red color button to delete the rule as well. So that's how you can set up order tags. Similarly, you can set up customer tags if you click on tag customers, meaning if these conditions are true, it is going to add tags on customer. Now, if you're familiar with the Shopify backend, let me show you a development store where I'll show you the option of customer tagging and the order tagging. So let's say I have these test orders on my development store. You can see here I have this order and if I click on any of the order and scroll down, okay, you can see that I have this field which says tags. So it is the app is basically going to add a tag to that order, meaning add a tag to order. And we also can add tag to customers. So if I open up customers on my development store. So that's a test customer on my test development store. You can also see we have this tag option where we can add tag to customer. So that's the type of task which you can automate we are tag orders and we are tag customers. And in these rules, we also have the notification option. So whenever this rule is triggered, you can also send an email notification, which you can see uh, on this one here. So if I go to tag orders, you can see we have this option here. If I click on that, you can see we can send a custom email notification when this type of order is received. So if the condition of discount code is equal to is true, it is going to add a tag and also send a custom email notification to your customized or email address. You want to send it to vendor. You want to send it to your customer success team to speed up the fulfillment process. You can do that via this app. So let me show you some other features of the app as well. I'm going to close this pop up here and uh, i already show you guys tag orders tag customers and these are notification settings if you want to change the font size of the custom email notifications which are going font color here we have uh, the font colors line item details font font color so whatever the product line items are you can change the color for that as well now let's move on to auto fill fill so here it's going to automatically fulfill the order based on the rules you create. So let's suppose if order tag is equal to this, it is going to automatically fulfill the items and the location for that from B. So if you have multiple locations, you can simply automate the fulfillment process based on the order tag, right? If I edit this role, you can see that it's detecting the order tag. So this is the tag condition. So if the order tag is sent to mail out, it is going to automatically mark the order as fulfilled and the location will be selected as Wyoming warehouse. And uh, this is another condition where auto retry this rule if the order is on hold, right? 
the schedule retry in 15 minutes if order is on hold it is going to retry after 15 minutes to fulfill the order if the order tag is equal to send to mail out again you can create your own rules if you scroll down here you have these option create fulfillment rule you can simply select any of the conditions so if product uh, has these vendor variant title SKU shipping whatever condition you want to add in you can select and based on that you can request a fulfillment to a third party software you can fulfill item you can change the location you can hold fulfillment you can release fulfillment so that's how you can automate the fulfillment process and uh, here we have the tracking option if you want to track the fulfillment of the orders uh, this is the feature for that and this is for amazon so if you are with amazon mcf it is gonna help you ship item faster if it's connected to uh, this app you can find in more details uh, within the app page and also if you have any confusion you can contact app support also if you find that there are certain conditions which are not present or if you want clarification with the automation which you want to create for your store you can contact the app support they will be instantly answering you back with your uh, with the answers for your questions and these are some of the features like fraud guard so it is going to automatically cancel the high risk order based on shopify fraud analysis so if shopify mark it high risk order it is going to automatically cancel that high risk order and if you want to do that for medium risk order and you want to notify the customer when a risky order is uh, cancelled you can do that with here and this is uh, for the batch process so if you want to batch process the order for uh, tag customer rule auto fulfill rules bulk process orders by date range if you want to tag order rules so guys that was the short demo of the order automator app and let me know in the comments below if you want to uh, automate some of the repetitive tasks which you are having pain with and that's it for this video until next video have a great day